welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Louise Delise, artist and teacher. On this channel you'll find drawing and painting tutorials designed to help you improve your own practice. This is lesson four and in today's lesson we'll be drawing a simple seascape. For this we'll be using willow charcoal, powdered charcoal which I'm going to show you in a moment how to make. We'll also be using the kneadable eraser and a soft sable brush. So let's start by making the powdered charcoal and we can do this easily by using a sanding block with our willow holding this sanding block vertically like shown and you simply just rub the willow against the sanding block and it really is as easy as that and you can put this in a little jar for storage. So let's begin with the seascape and the first thing that you want to do is loosely place the horizon line and this doesn't have to be perfect just in the vicinity where you think it'll go. We're also going to be putting a moon into this picture with a few clouds in front of it and so we're just loosely placing the moon here and once we've got the horizon line and the moon in place we're going to take a tissue we're going to put it into the powdered charcoal and we're going to start putting some darks we're going to start at the top moving down towards the horizon line just very very loosely Coming in here with a little bit of willow, just putting in the darks, the darkest darks of the clouds. Then we'll start to refine the horizon line a little, put a few more darks in the back there, creating space with the darks at the back on the horizon line, getting gradually lighter as we move forwards. Now we're going to bring in a nice soft brush and we're going to work some of these darks into the paper. Come in there on the bottom of the moon just to find that a little bit more. And bringing that brush right across the, the page from one, one side to another to create some smoothness now before coming back onto it with the willow. Not sure if we're going to have a rough sea or a, I think it's I think it's leaning towards more of a rough sea at the moment but we can still go anywhere from here. Let's come back into the clouds. We'll define those a little bit more. Put in a little cloud there upper left I think just to provide a little bit of a little bit more balance to this composition so coming back into the foreground working you'll notice all the drawing all of the time creating balance as we go varying tonal differences here i'm coming in with the tissue just getting rid of any any excess charcoal before coming back in with the brush smoothing things out a little more. Coming in with the eraser, picking those lovely highlights up as that moonlight is just dancing along the sea there. Up, back up to the clouds to refine them a little. We're putting some light mostly on the top of the clouds. Coming back to the moon, resolving the moon. A bit more dark on the top there. We're going to 
coming with the eraser on the moon here, give it an almost craterish effect to it. And I'm gonna, we're going to have a play here with some, some light and dark, the light coming from the bottom of the moon right in the horizon line there. So to push that moon forward and the lightness of the horizon line back, we're going to introduce a mid-tone here. So that we're creating space. Now I think this is working well. It's coming along quite nicely here. Perhaps a little bit of light just on this side of the moon. Coming back in under the clouds there. There's that moonlight just bursting through. Just add a little bit of drama. Look, this drawing is it's pretty much there. We can we could call it finished. Find the lights a little bit more behind those clouds. Or we can come in, try a, a cloud a little bit further up there. No, don't like it. Let's get rid of it. Not sure if it does need something up, up to the left there. I think it does. Let's put that back in. Yes, I think so. You know, adding, doing all the tweaking at this time, adding all the, adding all the details. Very exciting time of the drawing. Coming, coming to the end here, making some final adjustments. Let's come back to the water and create a little bit of drama there. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and that you've learned something from it. Join me next week. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up.